Spud, we're back. How's it going, Tommy? It seems like forever. It seems like it's like six or seven years since we last did <laughs> a podcast. <laughs> it's only two weeks, isn't it? Missed one, only missed one week, yeah. Yeah, but that other podcast I did that I said I was only doing once a month that I started doing every week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also yeah, also yeah, missed yeah, yeah. Uh, an episode last week. Uh-huh. It so it just kind of felt like I was out in the... I don't know, out in the, the nether regions of the podcasting world. The wilderness, huh? The wilderness. But it's good. You should have weeks where you don't do anything, just to keep people on their toes. <laughs> <laughs> just to make keep sure people... More. Yeah, you know, just make sure that people don't think we're professional about these things. or uh, Of course. Any of that stuff. So, yeah, you were sick. What was going on now? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> What's going on there? There you go, yeah. I, I don't know, like... I mean, I have definitely have all the symptoms of this corona thing. But I right. hope I don't have it. Because <laughs> it's like a really bad flu, but without the snuffles and the sniffles. But like it's fevers and sweats and stuff like that. So yeah, my whole house was, was as sick as sick as dogs for a week. Uh, but yeah, we're grand now. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I am, um, I sympathize with you. I don't get sick, That which like, well, I mean, I do. Obviously, I'm not immortal or any of these things, but I've, ne- I've never been sick like that in my entire life. <laughs> So yeah, I, I do, yeah. usually don't either. It's just that since uh, I don't know, I, there's there's some going on around this part of the world. There's um, they, there were schools and or not schools, creches and kindergartens like closed down and stuff. Like our local one that the young one goes to, there was only three kids left at one stage, and and only two teachers out of a staff of six or eight or whatever. It so so sounds just, like just, the beginning of a horror movie, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just, just everyone was at school today, is it? Oh. <laughs> I so see Michael, was just he was bleeding and... through the nose. <laughs> <laughs> and you know yourself, sure, like you have yeah. a, 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 a crash or kindergarten in your gaff, like so. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's like, just germ warfare. It you is, know? yeah, but it's also, I, I think there's a, there's a kind of a, a bonus to it in the sense that yeah, your, your immune system has to step up its oh, game yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. So. that's the thing. Like. But, um, but it's good for, I suppose it's good for the wee man um, to be around Lots of kids and stuff early as well, you know, yeah. different uh, different germs, you know, not just the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, family yeah. germs and stuff. Like, is it true that like <coughs> the, you, you get most of your um, antibodies and stuff from eating dirt and stuff like that? Like, that's how you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're supposed to go, like, uh, uh, that's where this, like, Norwegian model or Scandinavian parenting is the best. Uh, Sc- because... Yeah, like, Scandinavians, they seem to have it all sorted. <laughs> yeah, because they just, they, they leak Murder dirt. mysteries, <laughs> school systems. <laughs> Satanic church burnings. Yeah, music, eating, they're music for leaking, teenagers. <laughs> leaking dirt off the ground everywhere they go. I mean, any, any time I've been to Oslo, it's just basically people walking around on all floors, <laughs> leaking dog shit off the pavement. Well, that's that's, that's I mean, Norway, like... you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, but apparently this this Scandinavian <laughs> model is the best. Apologies to who lives in Norway that is not a <laughs> no, Norwegian <fuck> people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wash the floor before you lick it. I understand. Yeah, it's just yeah. they they have their kids out in all weather, and it's really good for their 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 immune system. And and it is good. Like I, I see that in, in my my boys' school, they have they try and put them out. Uh, <laughs> <Get it>. <laughs> nah, <laughs> even even when the weather's bad, they do try and put them out so they're playing around and and and, and getting the pathogens and whatever into them you know um no it's grand but then it should look it's just the young one she's so young she doesn't have an immune system yet she's so yeah. fucking young and and then she comes back and like it hit us like what was mad as well like it, it hit us like a ton of bricks and i was literally reading the fucking chapter in transurfing about how you don't get sick Sink. and i was like will you fuck off will you i oh, you see but you see here's the problem <laughs> there's always a stage in books that there's a test will appear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you have well, failed your test. <laughs> oh, with flying colours. I, 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 I haven't failed that spectacularly since I sat the leave insert. You know? When it was, what age was I then? 17? <coughs> 20 years ago. But like, yeah, it was weird because I was reading and just going like, like, do people actually believe this? That like, I'm never going to get sick in my life because I just don't believe in it. I and like because like because like because you know everyone who gets lung cancer they want it they're sitting there standing there smoking going geez I can't wait to have lung cancer lad. I can't <laughs> wait to be the centre of attention all the people are going to come in and see me people I haven't seen in fucking years people I fell out with are going to come into the hospital and see me because they have this little niggly feeling of guilt that I'm going to die <laughs> I'm going to have my fun then with my lung cancer. 
<laughs> That's like, every single lung cancer patient I've ever met. That's an exact <laughs> record of them. What a pile of bullshit. It is a pile of bullshit. It's my biggest pet peeve with the whole um, new age magic thing. That whole yeah. victim blaming essentially thing of it. That if you are sick, you fucking deserve it because you, your thoughts were wrong <laughs> or you believed the wrong things or... <coughs> You know. Excuse me. He does. He does have a good out in it. Well, maybe not a good out, but it's like. Uh, so his kind of argument is that look, if there's something going around, there's a flu going around, or like now it's Corona, COVID, whatever the fuck it's called. If you just kind of don't get attracted to that pendulum and you just say, right, you're that thing, uh, but I'm not going to get sick. Uh, piss off. Mm. And you should be able to avoid it if 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 you're thoughts are clear on it and you're not under the influence of a pendulum yada 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 but he says kind of at the end of that section that like well look if you do get sick then your body obviously needs help because you're not fit and if you're not fit you're going to get sick and it's like okay well well, why didn't you just start there well I think like let's let's give let's play devil's advocate let's agree to him and let's pull it apart and see Start from the principle. The principle is that you get sick because of pendulums. And the whole thing of reality transurfing is based on basically this idea of, well, it's the space of variations which you move in and out of due to pendulums. Would that be, mm. that seems a fair That assessment. makes sense to me, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you have become immune or um, you've ignored, ignore in the reality transurfing sense of the word, the pendulum successfully, you will not be... Uh, you know, you won't get, you won't be sucked into that pendulum thing. Mm-hmm. You won't be affected by it. Blah blah blah. That's the pr- <coughs> that's the principle. Now, there is no way out of being affected by pendulums, and so you're going to get sick. But yeah. I suppose, uh, and he's kind of saying, well, you wouldn't if you weren't affected, you know, as part of pendulums. But you're fucking human, so you're going to be <laughs> affected by pendulums. And, and I just assume that it's kind of a weird translation, because he seems to be clued in a bit better in all the other kind of spheres of it than. Um, this one, but it, it is such an idea in new age thing that it's like it's that um, you don't you know, say you didn't have the right thoughts or you deserve it. It's that thing of when you hear some something bad happened to someone and you search wrecked through their story to find the place where they're to blame. <laughs> so, but it's like and it's a thing, so it's not really that you want to blame them, it's just that you so you can see well, I it won't that won't happen to me because yeah. I won't do the thing that they obviously did wrong that led yeah. them to being stabbed outside the cinema. You know, and it was obviously because they went to, you know, some Greece or something. I don't know. Greece. I mean, I, I've, I, don't know about, I don't know about you, but like I've been going into the town centre here and I've been licking Chinese people. <laughs> that, well, that's hardly ignoring the pendulum of coronavirus. <laughs> no, because I'm, no, no, because I'm, I'm using the pendulum against itself. I'm like, well, fuck you, pendulum. I see you. Fuck you. And I, I met an Italian Chinese band the other day and I, I just sucked his balls. And I went, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, coronavirus just, just, will not work on me. You uh, have the right uh, to exist, coronavirus, uh, but you will not get me. Ha 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 ha. But you're like you're terribly sick and dying of coronavirus, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. Uh, uh, I'm not too bad now. I this shank can't really shake this cough, but it'll it'll go. I know it'll go. <coughs> there is an overall interesting thing I find with uh, magic and healing and stuff like that. There's an interesting one that happened to me over the last kind of nine ten months, which is this mad thing that's been happening in my eye. That if anyone's been watching any of the videos, you can see me progressively um, increasing my skill at colour grading <laughs> over, <laughs> over, over, <laughs> as I kind of progress. And it got really bad there a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, that's not my point. We, we won't do a tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. Um, but it's just that I went to Reiki people. I went to, I got healers. I went to, uh, you know, I did shadow work because, you know, there's just a kind of whole idea of that. If there's something happening with your eye, it comes from Louise Hay. I don't know if you ever heard of her, but she would have been a big... Um, proponent of kind of new age self-talk as self-medicine type thing but she did a lot of great work with like um hiv uh, people particularly men in the 80s when you know you're, you weren't meant to talk to them or you weren't meant to look at them and she went and hugged loads of them all this kind of stuff so like she's plenty of good things to say about her but she definitely had this kind of idea that if you have something wrong with your neck then you know or you know, something wrong with your back it's an easy one then you don't feel supported if there's something, you know, uh, if you have a sore throat, then you don't feel heard or you're not speaking your truth. You know, this kind of correlation uh, between if you have a sore ear that you're not, you're unwilling to hear or something that you need to hear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so obviously, if I have something wrong with my eyes, there's something I'm not going, don't want to see coming from this kind of thing. So I looked into all that and all that. 
also, I'll say, I did go to the doctor too. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm a, I'm a wizard who's open to all of the schools of thought. <laughs> um, but none of it worked. None, none of it was getting me anywhere. I was doing, like, sigils. I was doing um, any amount of things that a magician and a man of my kind of wants and needs would do. And nothing happened. Again, the, the, the treatment that the doctor uh, gave me, like the creams and different things, didn't work either. So it's not that it was a, a full thing. But in the end... It is kind of mostly gone now, and it was an antibiotic that did it. So, I mean, there's this kind of time and a place, I suppose, for magic, reality, trans surfing, and actual doctors, and, you know, and, and kind of put it all in the, the thing. Because it, it, you can be, you can purport <clears throat> the abilities of magic or healing, say Reiki or, or all of that, but is it actually... You know, are you actually good enough at doing it? For number one, or you know, is the th is the thing like am I am I good enough at magic to heal my eye? Turns out I'm not. There you go. <laughs> you know, is the person I went to for uh, Reiki good enough at Reiki to heal my eye? Hard to say because there could be something in me that's stopping it. So you know, you can't really judge. But you know, I did Reiki on myself, didn't heal it. All of these things. So it's like there's lots of, and I, th I think. When you, because you were kind of reading this reality transurfing thing and going, oh well, he said this, and then I got sick, you know that you think, so fuck reality transurfing. I know, you, I know it's not quite what you're doing, no, but there no, is, no. Like, there's an, it's an easy kind of kind of thing yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I think there's more to it than that. Like, but there is a kind of a. It's like how good are you at reality transurfing? That you know, that's the first yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. how good are you in general? How good is your health in general? Where's your starting point? Like, if you go, oh, I'm going to ignore. My leg that's half falling off. I'm going to start ignoring it now. Well, I mean, you're a bit late, you know. If you if you have a bad diet, bad health, bad atmosphere, bad surroundings, you know, if you have a preschool in your house, there's a chance you're going to get a bit more yeah, sick than yeah, someone yeah, who yeah. hasn't. See, well, that's that's why I said like I think he should have started his thing with right. Well, look, first you're going of to get all, sick. <laughs> no, no, no. But he should look first of all. If if your body's in bad shape, or you're not looking after yourself, or if you're just eating crap all the time, you're going to get sick. Yeah. I don't think you should have started with, well, nice thoughts mean you won't get sick. Because, I mean, you need, to be, you need to be fairly healthy before you can have that attitude, I think. You know? yeah, yeah, and as absolutely. well, like, and as even well, then, I don't think it's an absolute, you know. <clears throat> no, like of me, course not. But, but yeah. as well, like, I mean, I, I, think, I think as well, I, I think there is a kind of cultural, cultural aspect to it as well. Because, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my parents and I were up. Uh, last week and I have this telly box with a million channels so finally for the first time in ages the father-in-law has been able to come up and watch Polish telly <laughs> usually he has to watch English telly or but whatever it's sports hockey or boxing but he can't watch it in, in Polish so this uh, this time finally we're watching it and the wife made a comment to both of them about how uh, how different uh, British and Irish ads on telly are to Polish ads because whereas a lot of our ads are like uh, beer and shopping and stuff like that, where in Poland it's um, uh, uh, drugs, pharmacy drugs, not oh, not prescription drugs now, but just... Yeah. Um, like Panadol, like the, your... Amadin. Panadol, Vicks, yeah. uh, vapors, uh, all that kind of, and stuff for your liver and your stomach and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> because people here compared to Irish people are far more hypochondriac. Way right. more, way, 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 way more, and I don't know. Like, I, 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 I really don't know what the, that comes down to. It might come down to they have better health care. Like, nobody ever pays for a doctor. I can go, I can ring the doctor now, go see him tomorrow, and it doesn't cost me a bob. And whatever she prescribes me, even if it's like morphine or whatever, I pay a tiny proportion of actually how, whatever it's worth. And you is that like the equivalent of our medical care <coughs> thing here, or is it just everyone? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's just everyone. Every, everyone. Med, 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 medical care is is, is it's not totally free but I think you only pay something about is it 5% or 10% of the overall fee right, so whatever okay. so like a, an asthma inhaler in Ireland is 10 euros over here it's like one slot here or something you know right. what I mean yeah um, so like there might be an aspect to that because look drugs are free so people are people get sick yeah but there's also the, the, the <coughs> Edward Bernays angle of it though are people more hypochondriac because there's ads for medicine at the time well, yeah, yeah, exactly, time. exactly exactly <laughs> so, 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 so to tie it in with, with the trans is like you know, the Poles are obviously Slavic people. The Russians are obviously Slavic people. He wrote this for for Russians yeah. and or Slavs. So there is a tendency for people to be, in my experience, to be a little bit more attuned to being sick. Because, and as well, because ah, like, right, right, right. like their winters so, are so long 
although this year's this year wasn't. But people just people just get sick because the winters are crap. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I don't think it's like uh, Ireland, although. I don't know. I'm just kind of hypothesizing. Hypothesizing. Yeah, no, I understand. And that the kind of thing, like, and therefore <coughs> it's like the pendulum is kind of a bigger kind of a thing in that aspect. If you're talking to Russian people, you are um, better to start with. You know, if you don't think about this, you're probably, if you had said, you're probably less likely to get sick rather than yeah. there's no way you'll ever get sick. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I do, I do take, yeah, yeah the, uh, and the translation has to be taken into consideration because I have read, tried to read one of his other books, his, his latest book, that was obviously just Google translated. Oh. And, and man, that's a fun experience. <laughs> that's that's, like, that's a, certainly, um, <coughs> I learned very little. Let's put it that way. What did I read? There was some footballer's book I read like that. Was it, it was either... I think I read a, a translation. You know, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I think I read a, a fan translation of his book from Swedish to English. It was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. It was brilliant. It was much better than than, than, than the, the actual thing. Than the actual translation it was absolutely yeah. hilarious. It was, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like it, it was. It, look, it was a funny coincidence to be reading that at the exact at more or less the same moment Spud, that it's Spud, just. I just interrupt you now. There's no such thing as coincidences. Oh well, <laughs> synchronicity then, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Because but the interesting thing, sorry, about the um, so the thing people who say things like that, like the guy come up with Reiki, for instance, died of cancer. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. that tells you something, right? I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. you're going to die of something. Like there's yeah, no, yeah, but, like, yeah, and yeah. I don't know what age it was. I think he was at a decent enough age, like for what it was it? Wasn't he didn't like die young? But you know the cosmic ordering system that uh, became very famous at one point, and your man. Um, Noel from Noel's house party. What's that? Pin? Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds. He got big into it and he, he uh, put his entire uh, resurgence of his career on this cosmic order and system. To give, were you aware of this at all? No, I haven't a clue what you're talking about. No. Right, well, it's kind of like a law of attraction type thing. But okay. it was a book that came out and he kind of championed it because hey, he came out back out of nowhere and he had that, what was that uh, game show we had on it? dinner time or oh with the boxes and the, the money and, and all the deal or no deal yeah. deal or no deal right there, uh, incidentally there's a brilliant behind the scene um, of that uh, John Ronson talks about in one of his books it's brilliant it gets yeah. so woo woo and the whole thing is mental what's actually going on with the because the contestants all end up in the same hotel for the whole week and all the superstition that rises out of it all of the different you know all well, the um if that box was there this day, all these rules to come up with, it's ridiculous. Oh, okay. cool. But anyway, he kind of championed the whole cosmic order and system. And it was a form of um, law of attraction. And it was very kind of, it's similar to Stuart Wilde's kind of book, Miracles as well, where it's you make a list of all the things you want. You put it out to the universe and the universe fucking gives it to you for no, you know, no matter. There you go. Have a bus. Um, and it was, you know, but it's, the thing is, it seems to work, you know, for some people, Noel Edmonds definitely thinks it works, you know, plenty of people think it works. I know myself, I put things out to the universe and it seems to work, but plenty of where the universe went, fuck off, mate, you're getting nothing. <laughs> um, but she <clears throat> died of cancer quite early as well. Yeah. So there's this kind of idea of like, in my head, I've made up this story of the, did she pursue the cosmic order and system to the detriment of medical kind of intervention? Mm. You know, did she have a kind of a, a, a thing that she had to prove? <gasps> you know, this is my test. You know, this is the, the universe testing me and I will show the world that I cured myself from cancer. I don't know, it's a story I made up myself, but it seems probable, you know, because it was kind of... Um, it wasn't talked about on her websites or anything. It was only after she died. She never mentioned she was sick or any of these type of things. Yeah. So not that, not the pick on her, but I do think there is a kind of a, an onus on people who do come out with statements like, "If you do this, you will not die." <laughs> you know, I think, yeah, and then they, yeah, yeah. and then they die. <laughs> you kind of go, yeah. mm, maybe we should look, look at that. But it's all too easy then, I suppose, <coughs> to throw the the bat or the baby, <laughs> throw the baby, or throw the bat away with the baby, uh, the baby bat water thing. That whole expression, throw it all at one. Fell swoop, and it, like we did, it's the thing that um, we've talked about before, where we say that, that like there's there's a whole more lot of things going on in the world that are influences than just our thoughts or our minds, and even this kind of and we get into it a bit. I suppose we, we're going to talk a bit about the different types of intentions in uh, reality transfer and that kind of thing, but there's like with the idea of say pendulums and stuff like that, it's easy to ignore them, right? If you're aware of them for one thing, but what about the ones that you're not aware of? That you're not involved in, you know, like these kind of 
talking about, say, the Slav stuff or the Polish stuff, where they have this kind of maybe a bigger pendulum of this kind of hypochondriac thing that they themselves mightn't be aware they're in. So it's hard to ignore it when it's mm. your culture or when yeah. it's your, your your kind of thing or you're not sure. You know, that, that terrible thought in the back of your mind that, you know, you've left a window open and then you remember something that when you were a child, someone said to you that, oh, you'll get a cold now. And then you have to have kind of relate, but it all happens so quick, and it's in the back of your mind, and it's not yeah, so it's yeah, not a yeah, conscious yeah, yeah. decision. And then you go, oh no, I did. Like the window was open, I got a cold. There it is. There's the whole thing. And of course, like colds and the weather, you know, while there uh, there's a correlation, it's not the correlation, yeah, yeah. of course. But well, see, I, I I don't really put much pass on sicknesses and stuff because I'm like, like, I I, I kind of changed my mind on, on 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 something a couple of years ago when I was reading about um just how you get sick and it's all viruses it's got nothing to do with, with how cold you are so like mm. instead of like me going out with the two jumpers and a winter jacket and a scarf and a hat now I'll just wear a jacket because I'm alright because I know it's not it's not the cold that's making me sick it's if I you know if I'm licking Chinese people with <laughs> SARS yeah, <laughs> yeah but, it's a, but it's just take it to your toe you, but is it the case though that you're more susceptible to viruses when you're in a cold wet state than you would no, be if you're in a hot it's, no, it's, no it's only it's only when your immune system is a bit down and this is the hard one like I I, I think where did it, that it, come it, from like why, why do we believe that I, 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 it's just I, I suppose we've had it that way and we didn't know what immune system was so right. we think we've thought for thousands of years that this is because you know when you are cold and tired and run down then your immune system is worse like it'd be great if we all had a, a little machine like a a, a thermometer you just put to your to your forehead. Every time you came home, you put it and 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 it said your immune system is eighty percent fine, so you're not going to get sick. Oh, and like then a, once... <laughs> like the Starship Enterprise, where you have the the uh, the shield factor. Oh, well, shields are down to fifty percent. Nerd, what the fuck is he talking about? Uh, Star Trek. Get yeah. <laughs> Can we take some no, of but... the energy from the shields and put it into into weapons, please? But I, I think if whoever could come up with that invention would be great because you could just you could check yourself, you know, every day or every morning or whatever, and check say, yourself bef before you ah, wreck yourself. Like okay, yeah, check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself. So you could just check and say, right, my my things at seventy percent. I need to stock up on some vitamins or some mineral or whatever because, like, I don't know about you, but like. Or, or you there at home, like how many supplements are in your fucking cabinets? But like I open the cabinets here and just fucking stuff is falling down <laughs> on top of me and algae tablets and all this kind of mad shit. And I'm like, folic acid. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard about that. Do I need five? Fuck it, I'll take it. I might get pregnant. I don't know. And <laughs> yeah. you go, blah, 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 blah. Like, just, like he takes on and you forget about it and he takes them again. It's like, okay, like if, if I had a thing every day where it's like, you know, if it was just a little machine and went, Beep, you're low on this. Okay, I'll take that. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why has like, that not even, been invented? Like, you know. because well, like because there, uh, you would need a, a very holistic kind of view of the body to register a percentage of health, I suppose, like of your immune system. Would you? Well, uh, you could probably test. Surely it's countable. Well, the, uh, antibodies would surely be countable. They could tell you yeah. whether you have if you're fighting something or not. <coughs> but I mean, I'm, I, I doubt there's a kind of a thing where you can go, oh, well, he's you know, he's not fighting anything. He's only eighty percent good. Yeah, I'd, I'd say you're either fighting something, or you're not. <laughs> That's yeah, the yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, how yeah. your body goes. And it's like a yes or a no rather than a percent. I'm not a biologist. I have uh, literally no I idea. Like, like the, the best, the best thing about these calls are f fever dreams are immense. I love them. They're, they're absolutely. They're just so much fun. You know, right. you're freaking out that you're gonna <laughs> die. And the the room. I always get this thing that the room shrinks and gets bigger at the same time. So like. Uh, Have you been taking crazy. mushroom supplements? No, 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 no. Well, well, the nine, that that one, but not those ones. And I get this feeling that like the room is kind of like the room gets everything in the room is kind of contract, not contracting, expanding. expanding. Yeah. So everything should be getting smaller, but actually everything's getting bigger at the same time, and it's. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's, but so also I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're sweating buckets and it's like, oh yeah, nice. It's all leaving my body. And um, yeah, um, I don't like being sick. It's <laughs> yeah, you sound like you do. You well, I, like, I like fever great, dreams. Fever <laughs> dreams are fun. But maybe that's because I'm just not, not used to dreaming. Like I'm only back dreaming recently since I got that oh, yeah, and then oxygen you broke thing, it. you know? How and did you manage to break it? It's just fever dreaming, <laughs> was it? Like... 
so yeah that's um it, it was a funny coincidence though to be reading it because i was just going you know what like like i'm willing to well, what go. got me? What got me? Sorry, to, uh, my constant interrupting of you, Spud. It's, it's just we're just going to have to. <laughs> um, it's the you want, Tommy from, show. Yeah, like from being the, like the staunch militant reductionist materialist atheist <laughs> angry man that I <laughs> yeah, met yeah, 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 yeah. to a guy who a couple of weeks ago said, "Oh no, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to go with angels. That's in the book. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Right, angels. Right, glad. Let's let's go with that. To what?" So I can't get sick, and then I get sick. Fuck off, <laughs> Russian man. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I'm willing, I'm willing to give Vadim Zealand a, a lot of slack here, because mm. I think that there's so much good and profound stuff in the book that can be very, very helpful for anyone who reads it. Because it's like, you know, it's like, like a lot of these books, you like, you can pick up and you can, and you can go with eighty percent of it and say, yeah, eighty percent of it, that would work for me, and I'll go with it. And the other ten, the other twenty percent, ah, fuck it, I don't need it. Like yeah, you can yeah, yeah. do that, and he says it in the book, and he even says that, like, you know, if you're a staunch Islamist, like, there's room for your belief system as well as this one, yeah, because yeah, yeah. in reality, transurf and all belief systems exist because they can all be on different planes of reality. So whatever you want to believe is Fine. true. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. wow, yeah. that's amazing. You know, fair play, but like. So I'm I'm willing to go fairly far with him. Even the angels thing, I was texting you saying, ah, oh, here, here, he's on about angels now. And, and you were up back to me something like, ah, look, all those books talk about an angel. And I went, oh, okay, all right, how, how am I going to do this then? All right, sure, I'll try it anyway, and I'll just say thanks, and I'll try and come up with a name. And the only one I could think of was Gabriel, but it's too bib bib biblical. Went, no, yeah. I don't like that because it's just it's foreboding or something. It's not so I, I don't have a name, um, but it's just like you know when you're going to bed at night, just say right. It's a gratitude thing. Say thank you today for me not dying. Uh, <laughs> but it's just more. It's kind of like praying, I suppose. Really, you're just kind of giving thanks. But anyway, um, so like I'm willing to go that far, and then but then the sickness thing. Like even when I was reading it. It was a day or a day or two before we started getting sick, <coughs> and I was like, "Yeah, okay, okay, I can see what he's getting at, but, what? but, but it's too far of a line for me, you know." I can see what, yeah, I can see what he's getting at, all of this, but I am going to deliberately get sick to prove him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and my mind just went, "No, nope, fuck him, <laughs> sickness." Bring it in. Yeah, bring I it will on. be right. Bring, fucking licking. Give me your child. Give me your child. I want to lick it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, licking the snot out of the fucking. <laughs> Man. God, yeah. did you imagine? I didn't wonder you're so sick. sick. You know. So listen. And, all right. Go on. What, 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 I was going to ask you, what do you think? Do um, <clears throat> you think has it soured reality trans surfing for you? Or are you. Uh, no, no. Like even. Um, like the angel thing is hard for me to believe. Yeah, but I told uh, you the sickness thing as well. <laughs> and uh, there was something about auras as auras as well. But like auras could be like I had this conversation with my uncle, he's a priest. And uh Orbs as in the um things that the nineties were crazy for on ghost shows, those things. No, or auras, yeah. You're, oh, you're auras. Oh. I thought you were saying orbs. No, nice. no, no, no. Yeah, auras. So, yeah, I, yeah. I remember having this conversation with him years ago about um not about auras, but about how animals can see and like like like, we have no idea how dogs see. Like, no. we don't. You know, like, like, we think they see in black and white, but we're not really sure. Yeah. And it's like, so, like, they might be able to, like, uh, like, because their noses are so good, they, there might be something uh, in their sight uh, connected with, with their sense of smell. So, like, they might be able to see kind of trails of smell and stuff and how strong nice. they We haven't a fucking clue. Yeah. And so this is... Like you can tie this in with auras as well. Maybe auras were something that we saw as children, but we grow out of it. It's kind of like you should test this on your young fella because this blows people's mind. We we forget this as we grow up. When we're kids, we can see in the dark, you know. Yeah. But as we get older, we can't. So yeah. like I remember being young, like and you know you wake up at night time, you go down to the kitchen, you get a glass of water, and you're fine. You just walk down totally in a straight line, and then yeah. like your dad wakes up. And he's coming out and he's bouncing off walls. He's like, oh, <laughs> you all right, Terry? You all right? What are you at? He's like, you okay? Oh, I can't see you. So why can't you see, you fucking weirdo? What's wrong, you know? Like, kids kids can see, not perfectly, but very, 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 very Finesse well in the dark. My wife can still do that. <coughs> can she? Yeah. yeah, she can read in practically in the dark. 
Less like class. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so annoying. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's annoying because the house is always dark. Because <laughs> she can see perfectly. I, but I can't see. I can't see anything. It'll be four o'clock in the afternoon. I can't see anything. Yeah, so like, I'm, I mean, even the over stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm willing to go with that. But And as well, like, just, you know, people who put up stuff in the international the trans surf and the, 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 the Facebook page and whatever, people say that, like, I was reading one the other day and he, some guy was talking about how um, when he passes, when he goes for a walk in the neighbourhood, there's a couple of dogs who always bark at him. And he said he was going to try this thing where he would have this invisible aura. So the right. dog would just see through him. I'm just going to imagine myself as being invisible and the dog won't even see me. And he said it worked. Like I would just walk by and the dog just paid me no attention at all. So right. obviously like what's going on is that like he's he's just not thinking about the dog. He's thinking about something else because oh, dogs... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dogs just sense it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> so, like, yeah, okay, I'm willing to go with auras, but, like, when someone says to you, oh, I feel your aura, or I can see your aura, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not willing to go that far. Yeah, I've met but a I'm number willing, of people like that. I'm willing to say, yeah, yeah, maybe it's something that was I remember possible. years ago when I was in Glastonbury, and I was, um, I went <laughs> to see, Glastonbury's a very weird place, not the um, music fest, but the actual town, which is yeah. Woo Woo Central, you know, King Arthur, all that stuff. There's six Marylands living there. All this, you know, the reincarnation. It's, it's quite fun. But um, I went to a talk the night before for Stuart, who, uh, Stuart Wilde is one of my favourite authors. It just happened to be, it wasn't planned, it just happened to be there. But anyway, incidental to that, the next day I was talking to a, a woman in one of the shops and she had been at the same talk as I had and we kind of briefly talked after. And so I just said to her and she just kind of, I think she was selling something or she was at some sort of reception thing. I don't know. And so I just said to her, uh, so how did you, what, what did you think about last night? What was your feelings on it? And she just kind of sat there and looked at me. And I just kind of let it go for a minute. And I went, so what, 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 did, what did you think? And she goes, I was answering you. I, I was answering you on the energy plane. And I was like, don't do that. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, 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 I can't do that. Starts getting these weird twitches or something. <laughs> itching. Nah, why, is my fucking, why is my dick so itchy? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> my hair is falling out. What the fuck are you saying to me? What is she doing? <laughs> well, it's like, like, like that you get an awful lot of that kind of stuff. And when I was doing the holistic health studies, the whole Reiki section of, the, uh, of it, like there was an awful lot of that kind of reading auras and, you know, feeling for chakras and uh, that kind of stuff. There is a thing, I can see auras, right? Now, let me finish the sentence before oh, you switch off. But it's, I don't, it's not auras in the way people are talking about it. There's, when I'm lying in my bed, um, right out, I have skylight windows, and right out of it, I can see one of the chimneys. And if I look at the chimney, and the height, what you're meant to do to see auras is to um, look slightly past it. You know, so it's off center, and you, so you start seeing a thing round it. All right. So if I was looking at you, say, and I wanted to see your aura, I'd kind of that I'd, I'd look past you in a sense, and I kind of a sense around you, and I can totally see that. But the theory that I have is about it because I can see it on my chimney, which I shouldn't see it on my chimney because it's not there should be no life energy, life force energy <laughs> to that. Like of course everything is life force energy, all of that. But it's as strong and as powerful as the one I would see around you. So I have to think that that's a trick of my eyes and some sort of morph thing of the light. You know, you know when you see a bright light and you close your eyes and you still yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, 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 all that yeah, thing. Yeah. Because there's yeah. definitely no colour to it. It's almost like a trail. You know, like the predator, where it's that kind of see-through. <laughs> it's like there's that around it. Yeah. And I know, and I've talked to people, again, funny enough, uh, one of the girls who I did the, co the college with, and she, we talked about that, and she says, yeah, she, she can definitely do that, and she doesn't think... She thinks that's what an awful lot of people are talking about, but yeah. that's not what... Like the yeah, only yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's right round your body. It's bright and shiny, and you can't fucking mess it. It's not this kind of vague predator outline. <laughs> 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 but it's really easy to see it uh, 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 on um, trees with a blue sky behind it. You know, you, yeah. you see it like, uh, and or you can see it. You know, if you put your two fingers together, or yeah, 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 you're yeah, meant yeah. to be able to see it between your fingers. All that stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, look. I mean, I get the idea because you know, you know yourself. Like, you can be in a room. I don't know, like, say, for example, you're in college or something, there's four or five of you hanging out, and then, like, one of the frenemies walks in. Like, the the, the, the atmosphere changes. So that yeah, is absolutely. kind of an art. So you know that as well. But that's... Yeah, it's like walking into a room where there's been an argument, and you know it. Of someone yeah. who's just had sex, and you know it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, so, so, like, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I go along with that. I, I, I like... You know, everything is energy, you know what I mean? Yeah, or everything yeah. is made from energy, matter, da, da 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 So, like, there is, like, you have to... 
like if you've just had this big fucking storm and row with someone and then you walk into the next room and there's a completely different atmosphere like you're still you you still carry that emotional baggage yeah. yeah and it's it is energy so yeah i i think yeah i think you can pick up on energy like i, I don't know like i don't think you can see it but may, maybe you can train but that, but yourself the, yeah but, but like but it's not even that but maybe we just can't i i, that, yeah. I, I, I don't want to dismiss it at hand because i've met people who are very sincere and very honest who say they can't yeah, and you know, for me, it's just because I can't. It's it's it seems a bit <laughs> arrogant to say, "Oh no, you yeah, can't," because well, yeah, 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 I yeah, can't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, look, uh, I mean, I hope mm. the people who say they can do it can do. It. But it's like, I mean, I remember I was telling you about the way that uh, we think that the daughter can see the ghost of the fucking dead dog. Yes, and you're like, yes, oh, that's cool. So the lads, my mates, were down here like last last week. And uh, I told all of them that story as well. There was a completely different reaction, so there was because they were like. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's freaky, man. You know, they were like a bit, like a bit like concerned, or not concerned, but a bit like, you know, like me and you would be like, oh, that sounds cool. That's, yeah, that's they were awesome. like, oh, that's that's weird. I was oh, like, no, yeah. that's not weird. It's fucking. It's, it's, it's Satan Hill. It's, it's <laughs> someone in the room. <clears throat> so I mean, it's, I mean, there's everyone, uh, like, yeah, just everyone can, you know, yourself. Everyone interprets everything differently or can. And but I am, I am willing to go far with. With 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 Vadim Zeeland and and the book and um, I mean like that it's just the sickness thing. I I think I think a better starting point would have been right. First, get yourself healthy. Yeah. And then you know instead of being like because like you can't just be a fat couch potato just sits at home playing Xbox all the time and like I'm not going to get sick. I'm not going to get sick. Yeah, I'm but it, that's sick. that's the law of attraction <laughs> stuff as well. If you can sit in your couch and just think about your new car, think about your new car, think about right driving in your new car, think about your new car. Oh look, new car. I mean, fair yeah. juice, yeah. If you're one of the people that can do that, I've never met anyone remotely able to do that, and I would say that it's probably not possible in that way. I yeah, don't think. No, you, I, don't like, think I think there, there seems to be some form, no matter how woo you want to look at it, some form of action needs to be taken. Yeah, in yeah some yeah, yeah. kind of, of thing. Yeah. So in the case of health, I still think there has to be some form of action that has to be yeah, taken, yeah, rather sure, than yeah. just trying to ignore a pendulum. Yeah. Of the thing, but it's, it is all these books kind of why I really like reality transurfing is that it took way longer for the David Icke moment to come in than it does in <laughs> most, of the, most of these books. And even when it does come in, you can kind of go, Well, it, that's, that's not the biggest sin I've ever heard, uh, kind of yeah. a, an occult yeah. author kind of ever coming across. Yeah, because even, even with the angel stuff, he kind of says, You don't have to go with this, and it's only about three or four pages long. He's like, You don't have to go with this, but. It's it's what it, it's and what in, it's in what a different translation me. of it, it's not angel, it's guardian. It's called so. Yeah, it's guardian, guardian. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think I think angel. I think the word angel might pop into it as well. So the guardian thing is kind of cool, but because he writes about the guardian thing, is you have an inner, you have an inner guardian as well, and right. that's when your inner guardian is when when you will kind of have to take yourself a little bit out of um, out of situations and be. Uh, uh, kind of observe yourself more than uh, be in yourself all the time. So, like, I don't know. Say, say you're in an argument with the wife or whatever, and you're just rrr, rrr, and everything's getting a bit all hec- hectic and horrible. Instead, just kind of go, oh, hold on now, just observe yourself and say, maybe I'm going too far here, you know, and just say, right, you know what? Yeah, it's grand. Don't worry about it. We're all right, you know. And I love that. Yeah, because like, that's that, possible to do all the time. <laughs> I'm a great um, man for that. Yeah. <coughs> I'm able to do that. I'm sure you are. I've always been able to do that because I, I don't like, like, I'm, I'm, you know, like, uh, I'm not as bad as I was, but I wasn't an awful fella for the, the fucking fighting the dog kind of thing. It's like, if anyone screwed at me, I'd screw back kind of thing. Yeah. Whereas now I'm just like, I don't want any conflict. I don't care. You know what I mean? Nothing's worth falling out over anymore. Do you know? Because yeah. if, 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 if someone's an arsehole, then I can just say, you know what, you're an arsehole, I don't need to be friends with you anymore, goodbye. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of <laughs> thinking more in the actual arguments that need to happen, like like some when there is an actual injustice, like when there's, like say, a work thing where someone is being a shithead to you and you have to have the kind of a, the actual argument to stand your corner, to stand up for yourself, all that. That's more, I suppose, where, where my brain went that rather yeah. than, oh, you're just an arsehole and it, it's inconsequential, <laughs> you know, go away, I don't care. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I totally agree with that. But it's hard to know, though, like when you're in the middle of a, I suppose, a heated moment. It's hard to judge if you're right or not, because you're just so possessed, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, like of course, that, yeah. that, that, that 
<laughs> like it's just you'll fight your corner even when you know you're wrong sometimes yeah just yeah, for the, yeah, for yeah a lot of times yeah yeah but so like it i mean it's to me and, and the book the book says it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong because you, you know we're all gonna be dead in 20 years anyway <laughs> or 50 years or 100 years you know it's like nothing nothing really matters and that, yeah, that, that's what that's... i do enjoy that and that's that's <coughs> a, a kind of a buddhist kind of way of looking at it too but there is a kind of a, a thing that i find hard to deal with though in that in that there's an implication, or well, not nearly, uh, an inf- inf- inference that uh, you kind of have to let people, um, in a sense of power over you, or behave whatever way they want. You know that it's only your reaction that's the, that you have control over. So people are in it. You're you're kind of saying that you're allowing people to be shitty to you, and I think there has to be a point where you have to not let people be shitty to you too. You know that you have to kind of not allow people to treat you in certain ways or whatever. And it's all well and good going, oh, we'll all be dead and just let, let it be. But if someone's consistently putting you down or controlling you in some way or you know pushing your buttons or deliberately yeah. doing something, I think you know you have to be able to you know say, I, I don't accept that. No, you know, I know, I know. But yeah. like, I mean, my way of dealing with that, or the, the book's way of dealing with that, and it would have been mine as well, is to just get rid of that person. Yeah, if I, but say you can't. Say it's say it's like your dad, <laughs> <laughs> or your boss, or you know someone you have to interact with. Your, your sister's husband. You know someone that you can't. Like you can definitely kind of lessen your yeah, time well, with them. Yeah, it's just but... it's just minimi- minimizing minimizing it. Yeah, minimizing yeah, that's it. it. That's yeah. all you can do. Because yeah, look, families are families, and yeah, everyone has someone in their family that they're just like, oh, jeez. But say like say your <coughs> brother-in-law. Uh, yeah. word, better word and every Christmas or every get, get together he deliberately puts you down and stuff like that do you think the wise thing to do is to allow him to do that because we're all going to die and that doesn't matter or <coughs> is it to go do not treat me like this it's standing up for yourself and, and a bit of tension a bit of conflict but you're also you know not allowing what's your thoughts what else? I don't know the answer because I mean the answer could be let him fucking do uh... whatever he wants like yeah, no, I think I think the reality transurfing answer would be to just let him be the way he is because you can't change him because he's a prick, right. you know. And there's no point in you wasting your energy on trying to change this pendulum, you know. Yeah, but what if he's convincing other people around you that you are a shitty person too and it's affecting your other relationships? I suppose you just have to try and rise above it and show him, nah, look, he's the dickhead, I'm not the dickhead here. Yeah. you know and just lead by example but well, I mean it's easier said than done sure obviously sure, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean I do, but I mean in principle it, because there is a, that's I suppose my thing about reality transfer and, and that kind of stuff and also <coughs> my thing with Buddhism uh, is that kind of rising above everything does imply that you have to let people be shitty to you <laughs> and there, I don't know if the bit that is fighting that within me is you know just that you know inner child who wants no, to be I, heard, I, 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 or whether it's a good fight to have. No, I, don't, I, don't, know. I don't. I don't think so, though, Tommy. Because I think that if if you're constantly rising above everyone and taking the moral high ground or whatever, w- without putting people down, yeah, then I think that those kind of negative influences will eventually just kind of fall away anyway. You know what I mean? Okay. Like like the way I look at it, like I had an awful. An awful bunch of friends. They were good people, but they were just manipulators or whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, I had a lot of friends, who I thought they were friends. They ended up just kind of, they were just kind of using me for free English lessons kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <Right>. Honestly. <coughs> and then I had other friends who would just be just horribly racist. And you just kind of let them off with it because you're like, ah, sure, look, it's just the culture here. People are like that. Until you realise, why am I friends with these fucking arseholes, you know? Yeah. And so as you kind of just realize i don't need these people anymore okay like and and you go from having 20 friends to having three or four so what like those other 16 or 17 they're only bringing you down and using you and just making you it's like the, you, you said it back to me before it's like if you're dreading if you've uh, uh something arranged with your friend and you're dreading meeting dave on friday Dave's not your mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, so stop yeah. being friends with him. And it's like, you know, we're old now. It's not like we're teenagers <laughs> and like, oh, you have to be friends with this one because this one is friends with that one and that one's friends with that one and you're trying to put your dick into that one. And, <laughs> you know, like, it's all politics, really. But, like, yeah. as you get older, it's like, pff, like, I, I, like, uh, you know, like, I, I talk to you a lot, but, like, my mates up in Katowice, I'd see them 
once every two months now if I'm lucky. And yeah. I'm all right with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm grand, yeah. <laughs> you know. So I suppose that the kind of the, the pull it out wider than a kind of interpersonal relationship then though you kind of have well, what if someone is a Nazi? Like do you just let them be a Nazi? Does that then allow Nazism, or should you fight Nazism? <laughs> you know, and I mean, like that's the. I, I don't know the answer yeah, because yeah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, had, the... I've had conversations where I fought both sides of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, at yeah. different there's, times, like. But, there's uh, the, the thing in the book. He talks about how, um, you know, how stuff like charity work, uh, altruism, and all that kind of stuff. Like it, altruism comes from a place of selfishness anyway. Sure. Yeah. You know because. Yeah. Um, I'm going to help those people because I'm great. That's yeah. what it comes down to, basically, you know. Yeah. And he's like, look, that's brilliant. Like, if you can help people, go and help people. But it's a bit like, I suppose it's a bit like Jordan Peterson. It's like, just sort your own shit out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go help other people. So it's like, you know, I, I was a devil for this in college. Like, I was always a fucking... I, like, the term wasn't around, but like social justice warrior, I was fucking front and center right there, like in college. <laughs> fucking was like, you know, fucking yeah. women's rights and men's rights and trans rights and dogs' rights and just fucking rights, 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 <laughs> rights. And now I'm like, I don't give two fucks about anyone's rights except my family's. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I just yeah. like, not that, like, my life has become so minimalist and so focused. That I'm just like, right, I'm going yes, to start... Yes, but you see, the rebuttal <clears throat> to that is that's because you are a Western, cis, heterosexual, white male who is privileged and in a position to not care about other people's rights. That, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You know what? <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, but you see, we can't all be like no, that because no, we're no, moral... See, Tommy, I can't, I can't fight other people's battles. Sure. I can't yeah. fight other people's battles. Like, yeah. There's no point in me going out and fighting for trans rights when I know fucking nothing about trans rights. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Equal rights. Look, I, I totally, I'm 100% behind equal rights for everyone because we're all equal. Yeah. That's it. There's no, there's no races. We were one race. Like that's yeah. all we are. Well, that's we're it. one that's race. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I believe in total equality for absolutely everyone. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not going to fight. But I'm, I'm the not, same. but I'm not fighting your battle. Yeah, no, and I, I think that's a kind of a thing that we have this kind of, the onus is kind of put on us to have to be responsible for the entirety of the world and for all the situations of the world. And I mean, the, like my, the very little I can do to change the injustice. Now, I can do it certainly in my own interpersonal relationships. I can do it in my own sphere of influence. I can cultivate, like any kind of communities I have online, I think of a fairly open, equal right, everything kind of thing. That's what I've cultivated. That's what I yeah. want. But I'm not... I can't change Facebook. <laughs> you know, I can't change Twitter. And, but, it's, but it's kind of felt uh, that it is your responsibility. And it's like even the people whose responsibility it is as an actual politicians and lawmakers and all that don't have the power to actually change these things either. Like, you know, and it's like... And it's like that thing of saying that everyone should just start having, you know, please use your, your paper straws because plastic straws are destroying the oceans. No, it's China destroying the ocean. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, my straw has not done much to the ocean, but it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. fault is put on me that I, oh, well, I better have these crappy paper straws that, you know, I need six of them now because the only last two subs and then they fall apart. <laughs> but you know that kind of thing where everything's thrown on you. Yeah, but it's funny, John Ronson's book, So You've Been Publicly Shamed. Have you read that one? No, I haven't. No, it's oh, on the man, list. That, that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's an eye-opener of how, how social media in a sense, wrecks lives by yeah. ho holding people up to this standard that's, to an extent, on un un unacceptable standard or unattainable anyway, in that, like, where one slightly unfunny, in a, in a, in a particular case, he talks about an unfunny, racist, off-the-cuff joke to 50 people uh, of followers on Twitter mm. completely ruined a number of people's lives. You know what I mean? And it's like this kind of need to punish people who don't agree with me or aren't you know don't don't follow the party line or you know and it's all like it's kind of it's coming from i think hopefully a good place but it still emerges in the same totalitarianism <laughs> that they're fighting you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. it's all 1984 you know here we're reducing your vocabulary here are the words yeah. you're allowed to say today yeah. you know, I don't know. see this is what i just thought i like i just i, I don't care <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. I, I don't care. Like I've just I've 
I, I think I don't fine, care. I, I think fine, I don't care either, but I have to rationalise it or I have to. I still no, feel I, I need to apologise for I have, something. Well, no, I can rationalise, of course I can. But I finally come to, reala- to the realisation of everything is just an opinion. Yeah. And unless you're an expert, your opinion means absolutely jack shit to me. Do you yeah. know? Like if you're, like if I want to talk about, uh, like I don't know. Let me see. Um, give me an example. If if I want to learn something about fucking biological evolution or something like that, then I'll pay attention to Richard Dawkins. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if, you know, if I want to, if I want some you know, deep meaning on the inter, on the interrelationships between uh, post-war Germany and uh, <laughs> Siam, I'm not going to watch fucking loose women on UTV. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? For Christ's sake, like, it's just all this, it's just opinion, 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 and no one, like, yeah, just just try and like, I know this is an opinion, but like just sure, just yeah, yeah. I think the best thing for people would just be like, just just get your information from people who are experts in that field, and not fucking journalists and you know Twitter talking heads and. Yeah, but but it's just it's because we've been lied to so much by authority that we have a distrust of authority, so we look for alternative authority. And that's that's where we're at at the minute, where the alternative authority has more authority than the actual authority. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you but you know, but I understand authority. it. I understand yeah, why yeah, it's yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, the shot John <laughs> F. Kennedy right in front of us. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> and then it wasn't to believe it. everything else to say. <laughs> no, not buying it. But like, I've, I I took Twitter off the phone. I even took, I took Reddit off the phone. I've got everything off the phone except Instagram, only because I'm fucking hooked on the heroin <laughs> that is landscape photography and astrophotography. Fucking can't help myself. <laughs> fucking looking at double tapping, n- double horse head <laughs> nebulas and crab nebulas, and I'm like, oh my god, look at that, it's beautiful. <laughs> but that, that has to be somewhat healthy, no? But not if it's I don't a, a, a <laughs> rage when it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome, it makes me pissed off. <laughs> oh, I do. Like, I understand that though. I understand looking through <laughs> feeds of this, oh, like brilliant <coughs> art or something, and you start off go, oh yeah, yeah, and then you go through more of it. You go, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm yeah. shit. <laughs> I am <laughs> terrible. Yeah, we can never do any of this. Yeah, oh. I'll never afford that fucking camera <laughs> to take nice photos like that. You know? And even if I could, I'd buy it and not use it after two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. How did we get there? I don't know. <laughs> Tommy and Spud talk tangents. Um, I'm a big fan of tangents. I like when conversations derail because they'll end up in more interesting kind of areas than when you, you plan things. To the point. I, Sometimes it yeah, can well, be rambling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, I th- I don't know. The world's a bit mad at the minute. I just, I, yeah, I, I, I'm lucky in that I've been able to minimize stuff down to like. Well, like it took a year or two there, fucking asking myself hard questions, like, like, you know, do I want this? Yeah. Do I like that? No, but really asking, like, yeah. just going, like, do I like this? Do I want that? Do you know? And just like getting it down to like ten or fifteen things. And these, this is it now for life. Like, this is all I can care about, kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally <laughs> understand, that. and I, I, I've kind of, I've, I've been very aware of your your journey on that because we've talked, you know, at different times about it. I, like, I've had similar stuff that I'm going where I'm, I'm starting to see stuff I do where I'm kind of going, why am I doing that? Yeah. I don't why? like that. I, what am like, I doing like? And it's like something like. My friend Stephen, <laughs> twenty years ago, told me that, and I'm still doing it because I believe him. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even like that, you know. Like, and it's like, or even uh, not allowing yourself to enjoy things because you know other people didn't enjoy them. So it's very, very odd and confused kind of thing. But like asking you know, those things of like, why am I doing this? Mm. You know, do I like that thing? Do I like this? Yeah, yeah. Do <laughs> I do I like doing this? Like, yeah. You know, like well, like, and it's not that like. You have to get pleasure out of everything you do, no, it's or you not have that. to get enjoy. Because no, no. you don't, and and and, no. and some of these these books they do say that everything has to bring you joy, and it doesn't. Sometimes you just Does have this to go. Does fuck joy? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, because, but like sometimes <laughs> sometimes you have to go outside for three hours and split timber for the fire. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just responsibility. You know, yeah, yeah. it's a pain in the arse, yeah. but okay, it's a bit of exercise or yeah. whatever. But like you got to do it, so just just do it, and <clears throat> something else that that helps. Is that like, you know what, if something's going to take five minutes or something's going to take half an hour, just, just do it, yeah. you know, because otherwise you're like, 
oh, shit, I need to do that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and it's three days and, of doing and it. And it's <laughs> Thursday at nine o'clock, and you're yeah. like, fuck, I need yeah. to fucking do that, don't I? Yeah, and you've spent all week not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just, just fucking man up, woman yeah. up, whatever. Lift up your fudge <laughs> and just do it. The one, the big thing that kind of get, gets me is the being able to do something for purely for the sake of enjoying doing it and nothing else. It's like read a book because it's fun, not because you're going to learn something, not because you're going to widen your horizons, not because it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alan some Watts trash, talks about some this. trashy western or something. Yes, you know? just a, like just yeah. something that's not going to better your life, other than <laughs> in the moment of this is a good story. Alan Watts talks about this, and he talks about that people start listening to certain types of music as they get older because it's good for you. You know, you expose yourself to these kind of things, and he's not. You know, I think he's talking about classical music there, and he's not kind of saying you know. Classic music is bad. Classic music is wonderful, but it's it's the approach of I should be listening to this because you know, it's age appropriate and it's, it's good for you. And so he's just going, don't do that. You know, don't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. It's listen like, to some music that yeah. you enjoy, and you know, it's, it's like it's like when you're growing up and you have that one friend who's kind of into the IRA a little bit too much. <laughs> And he's listening you, to the only, only the one friend like that. <laughs> and well, you're from the border county, so it's a bit different. But like, and you know, you're 16, and like we're putting on Nirvana and Pearl Jam, and he's putting on Luke Wolf Kelly. Tones. And you're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, come out your black and tans on, fight the English. Oh, they shot me father yesterday. What? Like no one. No, how no, are you, no. That's not going to press any girls putting on that type of music. Like at least put on something that makes everyone miserable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you can tell you know, go, hmm, I wonder what your father's like. I just just I wonder, you know, <laughs> just vaguely thinking that like Yeah. I wonder what your upbringing was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's the people are so strange. They really are. Um, there's other stuff. How are you? How are you finding the like the frailing and stuff like that? Have you got to that? Frail now, right? Hold on. Frailing is the um, no. That's renting yourself out. That's <laughs> what I'm thinking. What frailing now? <coughs> frailing, I thought was was a funny chapter. Uh, it's basically it's well, basically the way I read into it was basically you become a manipulator, um, and it's kind of using. Using people's goals to kind of get what you want, oh, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. say for example, if you want to make a documentary, yeah. So you find someone in your circle of mates who has a couple of video cameras and who likes videoing, and you know he kind of wants to make something, but he hasn't got that none at the minute. So you're like, hey man, I have an idea. You wanna you wanna hook up and bounce ideas off each other, and yeah, there's no money know, maybe, in it for you. <laughs> yeah, well, no money's the exposure, man. Uh, <laughs> You know, that kind of thing. But it's other like, it's stuff like that as well. And I suppose, like... It's what know, Anton LaVey would call less or magic, in a, in a sense. It's the manipulation of, of, of people to get what you want, rather than yeah. manipulation of the universe. Which yeah. is the, the kind of thing. Yeah, I don't like it. I, 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 I definitely think it works. There's no question of, of the ferocity of it. It definitely is a thing that people... Like, go back to Edward Bernays, master of it, you know, the appula- <laughs> absolutely, to manipulate people to get them to what they want. It's um, it's probably why I will never be that rich or successful. Is because I think you do need to be able to do that without any conscience to get to you know to the big leagues. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not something I feel comfortable with doing. Unless <coughs> unless you can, you can genuinely see when you use the word manipulate, it kind of annoys me. But if if you can you know collaborate, man. Um, well, it's it's, it's I, I, goals and stuff yeah, like a better a better way to look at it would be if all uh, you know uh, what's a uh, a rising tide uh, lifts all ships. Right. You know, yes, if yes, you could yes, work yes. from it from that angle, then I, 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 I'm like you. I'd feel morally a bit better because I don't want to fuck on anyone over yeah. because what's the point? Life's too short. But like, and morally, okay. the, that thing morally is I feel bad. <laughs> it's not that I, you know, it's not against <laughs> God or anything. It's like I will feel bad as yeah, I so it's. I feel bad if I use you. So instead yeah. of using you, we'll we'll do stuff together and maybe yeah. it'll lead on to something. And if it doesn't, sure, then we've both made something cool together anyway. Yeah. Do you know yeah, that, yeah. Kind of, that kind of, that kind that, that But kind it's of like, thing. like you, you can definitely prey on people's insecurities. Or Well, it's not that, that thing that, that, that was going around, one of those kind of how to, you know, 
how to get women to like you or, you know, those dating people and all that. Uh, one of the things was that you say something really insulting fairly quickly to them so that it makes them feel bad about themselves, but then you, you, you rush in as the knife oh, and Jesus, you know, bring really? them back. Yeah, but it's like a real proper, and it totally works. Like, of course it works. Cause it's manipulation <laughs> and, and terrible where you make someone massively insecure yeah. and then offer a solution to it. Like, but, like I mean, there's loads of that stuff going on. And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, the, la the latest bit I'm at the book now is basically... It's basically he's summarising how to win friends and uh, influence people. All oh, right, okay. Like, and that's all it is because I've I read that and I that book's fucking amazing. So it is. It's so so good, um, but but it's just basically like, like the number one way to get people to like you, is to listen to them. Yeah. That's all it is. Just listen to people and 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 if you're gonna ask questions ask questions about what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't make it into a pissing competition that like, oh, well, I was over there on that mountain or that mountain. And oh, did you? I was there, yeah, a couple of weeks ago and then we yeah. went there. No, don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. Don't, don't what do you that. say is, yeah. yeah, it's a very nice place and did you try, did you try the veal up in the restaurant up there? Mm. And then there's, oh, yes. Oh, I had it. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, and then they had the dog. There was this beautiful dog there and the snow was glistening and they're just blah, 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 blah. And you're there going, yeah, lap it up, bitch. Yeah. You love me. Yeah. You fucking love. You think I, and and then like and then and he says the same exact same thing as what um uh who wrote the book um how to, how to win friends or whatever um it's not Norman Vincent Peale it's the other fellow um but anyway v Vadim yeah. Zeeland says exactly the same thing he says when other people then speak to this people and they talk about to you. Dale Carnegie, thank you, Brian. Dale Carnegie, <laughs> they they will call you. They will say you're one of the best conversationists they've ever met. And <laughs> you you're haven't not, said anything. You yeah. haven't said fuck all <laughs> yeah. because all you've done is let that person talk and you've let them talk about themselves and their experiences and that's all people really want. Yeah, I know, and I'm the greatest know? interrupter of all time, particularly with you, Spud. But it, it's weird because <laughs> it's such a thing that annoys the fuck out of me when people do it to me. You know when you're saying yeah, something yeah, yeah. and then you can just see the glass coming over yeah, the yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can go, they're just oh, waiting. They're waiting to talk. They're not yeah. even listening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're waiting because they got to one-up you. Yeah. And um, if you know any people who are like only child, only only children, they're the worst at this. Oh, like, really? Because like, they don't I, know yeah, there's, there's been stuff written about this because they don't, they're not socially very good because they didn't grow up with anyone. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. they're just always waiting to talk about their thing. Always, 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 always. So, like, if you're with... If you, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you can really annoy them by not letting them talk and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do the Dale Carnegie thing and just yeah. be like, and just let them talk. Yeah. You know? And, I, and it, 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 it does work, but, like, try and do it from not, not a manipulator's point of view just try yeah. and do it because it's you know, nice to do <laughs> it's nice to do and people most people are actually kind of nice like yeah. once this is i have this thing with you as well as so like you know people are cons but individuals are great yeah, yeah you know yeah, like yeah. and i genuinely believe that like as soon as you put people in groups nah that's bad but like one-on-one -on -one, yeah great and you know this like this is why I, like I, I find it very hard like this is why social media was so hard for me on the podcast because I've, I've just left it and stuff now i'm done even like in your discord i know like that you tag me and people tag me on it, but I, I find social media really difficult to speak to people on. Yeah, but the people really, in Discord really are really difficult. nice, though. No, <laughs> they're yeah, really no, nice you're, to you're, you. No, no, your, your Discord is lovely. The yeah. People are, are genuinely nice people. I just find it very hard to speak to people through text. Yeah, yeah. No, you know? So, like, if anyone there on Discord just sees me online and wants to have a chat, just fucking text me or and say Spud are you there say yeah Grant yeah, yeah, give me five minutes there we'll have a chat but like talking through text uh, it's, it's I just I don't find it expressive enough or something you know yeah. I kind of like the separation of it for most interactions and you know it kind of keeps people <laughs> away but yeah. if I, for what the more personally you go the less to a point because I think we, we have a kind of a, a good dynamic when it comes to like texting <coughs> where we, we have a certain kind of bang 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but we also talk a lot so I, yeah. you know I, that, that kind of but um, it's but certainly with people I don't know but that I have to have you know kind of an interaction with I do like the kind of separation in some way yeah 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 oh come here you gotta, you gotta tell the people on your on your, on your fucking uh, 40 servants Facebook group man they're gonna, they're gonna have to put up fucking health warning or something. Cause uh, <laughs> you know, I, jo I joined it and I hadn't been a part of it for ages. And I said, "Fuck it, I'll, I'll join it and see see what's going on here." And it's, it's what's lovely about it is, is that it's lots of people thanking 
uh, your servants. Yeah. And they're saying thank you to this and this for helping me this week because this happened. And I'm just sitting there, and I've seen this, and I, Jesus, this must give Tommy a huge fucking ego boost because he's helping. <laughs> no, but you, not you're helping, but yeah. your cards are helping people all over the world, and this this must must feel fucking amazing. But will you tell them? <laughs> to stop using those fucking petroleum candles. Oh, yeah. the <laughs> people, fault. people, I cannot stress this enough. Please use beeswax candles because all you're doing is giving yourself lung cancer with those other fucking yokes. You may as well go outside, get, get the nearest car that's running and put your mouth on the exhaust pipe and just go... <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, oh yeah! I, I have them uh, nearly a constant go-go. Those, no, they're so bad for you. Are they? Really? They're, they're made of petrol. It's petrol. You're burning petrol. Like 30 centimetres from your face. Sucking diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Invest right, in some okay. beeswax. They well, last I, like... I was absolutely unaware that that was an issue and now I know it's an issue. It will no longer be an issue. Oh, but they're I, really I, bad I for you. I often thought about that because the amount of incense I burned that I must have the lungs of a smoker still. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> after. No question. I don't know. I don't know what incense is made of now. No idea. Oh, well, there's definitely of. dog poo or uh, cow poo in uh, the, the more expensive Indian <laughs> stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. 100%. Yeah. Uh, okay. That can't sure be good there's, No, well, it's, I'm sure it's fine because it's grass. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just transmogrified yeah. grass. I would have... I don't know. I'm gonna to have to look at the. Uh, you're, you've piqued my interest now. I'm gonna to have to look this up. Well, I tell you, the, the Facebook group is wonderful and all that thing, but there is a separation in that. I, I personally don't. I'm glad people are happy and stuff like that, but there's also a kind of thing. Stop thinking they're a fucking miracle as well, you know. <laughs> you know? Still sort your own lives out. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I don't spend uh, uh, that much time on Facebook and the, the groups that, anymore. I, particularly the Brazilian ones and the foreign ones because they're they're. Uh, lovely people, a bit too woo for me, I suppose, and there is that kind of thing that they go, they're more into certain aspects of magic than I am willing to go, and so I would probably best not to interact yeah. in that kind of conversation, I suppose, to let, to let people do whatever they want. <coughs> um, but yeah, so that was kind of uh, health. Uh, you're going to continue to be unhealthy just to prove a point I think we, we've I don't uh, want to be I mean no, I, th I think it's it's you trying to make a point with the <laughs> Adam Seal and stuff oh no 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 <coughs> we can angel all day not having this health shit <laughs> yeah I mean I'd like there's, there's just I mean just I suppose there's, there's loads of it we didn't really talk what time is it no we're getting towards time now but there's so much of it that I, I think is really really great Mm. about trans surf and I suppose we kind of focused on what isn't rather today but like there's stuff about like like the whole thing of inner and outer intention I find that fucking fascinating absolutely yeah. fascinating and I want know? to talk to you about that video that <laughs> I'm not called the name I usually call it um, you want what's her name uh, uh, Renee, Renee Renee Garcia Renee, yeah yeah. She, yeah she's great video, but the one you sent me about the entrepreneurship <coughs> and stuff like that yeah and um, yeah I think we could have a good conversation about that because didn't we? Well, we kind of agreed in the end, but I don't think uh, I. I would have. I would have thought around that. Let's say. Yeah, we are different. We should have time. <laughs> you know. Oh, well, 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 no, well, we've come to. We've come to our. Uh, our uh, and I think to get into it, we uh, it deserves its own. But I suppose I don't want to turn this into a reality transfer from podcast, you know. But should have plenty to talk about. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs>